It is day two of the legislative session and already the fight over Florida's new abortion bill is well underway. The policy filed just yesterday, it would ban abortions at 15 weeks. And tonight, Capitol reporter Four Saunders has an in-depth look at what will likely be one of the most controversial issues of this year. <laughs> Abortion advocates at the Capitol Wednesday. To be clear, we oppose all abortion bans in Florida. Fearful Florida's lawmakers will pass a 15-week abortion ban this year. It's not a, even a culture war issue. It is health care. Abortion is health care. So how dare you strip away our rights in this new piece of policy? Democratic lawmakers joining the vowing of a vociferous rejection of the bill, despite lacking numbers needed to block the state's GOP majority. If Florida is truly the free state, free our women and leave them the hell alone. Rep. Aaron Grawl and Senator Kelly Stargell are behind the policy. It would prohibit abortions at 15 weeks instead of 24. Exceptions would be made for fatal abnormalities, but not rape and incest. If you have a situation of rape or incest, that typically would be known in that first trimester, and you would have the ability to handle that situation at that point. Stargell told us this week the bill draws from a Mississippi law, calling it a, quote, fair approach to restricting access compared to policies like Texas fetal heartbeat bill banning abortions at near six weeks. And this is something I've been working on my entire career in this process. I think all life is valuable. I really value um, the life of these unborn babies. If enacted, Florida's ban would violate Roe v. Wade and likely have to play out in the courts. But the conservative-leaning Supreme Court is already mulling that similar Mississippi law. Even so, the Senate president, House Speaker, and governor's office all sound open to the concept. We feel comfortable if a bill were to pass uh, that would do the 15 weeks. Um, the governor, I think, has indicated that he would feel comfortable with that. Each, however, wants to see what happens to these bills in committee before giving a firm commitment. And plenty can as 59 days of session remain. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.